Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I'm taking a look at Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Trilogy. I believe it's tr uh, Legacy, or maybe it's not even, maybe it's Generation Selects. I think it's Legacy Generation Selects Lift Ticket. Anyway, here is Lift Ticket, and we have us a bright primary colored redeco of Hoist, uh, who looks really, really nice. Uh, if you're not familiar, Lift Ticket was originally a TFCon, or not TFCon, sorry, BotCon exclusive figure, um, and it's based around the original Diaclone um, toy. So in the Diaclone toy line, the mechs, there, there was a model called the Wrecker unit. This, I believe this Wrecker is from that. It has nothing to do with the Transformers Wreckers. Um, and yeah, here, I mean, look, we've got some lovely red, some yellow, some blue. He looks very dashing. The thing that I wasn't sure about Lift Ticket was um, if there was any opportunity to improve the clearance on these hands. And it doesn't look like there is. If you can look like it's it's catching, it, it rolls, um, but this front wheel doesn't roll super convincingly. Um, so it's got the same problems that Hoist and Trailbreaker had before, which is disappointing. Um, other than that, I mean, it... It's just a repaint as far as I know. I don't think there's any remolded anything. We still have this airlock thing. Um, I really wish this had been remolded into a just a a, a, uh, a trailer hitch or something because this this ended up not doing anything right. The airlock line really, I felt like this gimmick didn't end amount to anything at all. Um, so it's kind of disappointing that they haven't taken the opportunity to remold things and just make them better toys if they won't support the gimmick uh, very well. But yeah, I mean, the wheels, you know, they're on casters. They roll fine on their own. Um, it's just the clearance. These little hands down here are the problem. But he looks really nice. Again, I really like uh, the, the tampograph here. Uh, Wrecker is picked out very nicely in a, a white with a black outline. Um, and I, I was looking online to just confirm that he's not associated with the Wreckers as a character, and I don't believe he is. Um, one interesting thing, and I don't know how I feel about it, we have a blue painted side window, and then we have a blue painted transparent window. I feel like this was a missed opportunity. Um, I, I don't mind the blue painted side window. I would have appreciated maybe a silver backing or maybe just paint this blue, just keep things consistent. It feels very striking to have the red, the blue, the yellow kind of all over the toy. So just some more vibrant blue I think would have been neat. Um, I do appreciate the silver paint up here on the wheel wells. Um, there's no real like back of the truck details to pick out in paint. It's really just some folded robot legs. But yeah, other than that, it's 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 a toy we've seen before, um, and it looks all right. Eh, it looks better than all. It looks pretty good. I just don't like it as much because it doesn't roll very well. Um, but I do want to compare it to some Diaclone figures. So we've got Tiger Tracks. We've got Road Rage. We've got Silver Streak. I like the way this like Diaclone repaint thing is going. I think I prefer Diaclone repaints to Shattered Glass repaints in general. Something about just the strong use of primary colors really works for me. I would love to get some Decepticon Diaclone repaints um, or, or something like, you know, that'd be neat. But yeah, they, like having these vehicles all together uh, as these like, you know, Diaclone versions of these characters is, is pretty cool. As far as I know, um, the other characters like Tiger Tracks, Silver Streak, and Road Rage are all robots, fully robots. I'm pretty sure the lore says that Lift Ticket is a mech. It's not even like a full Cybertronian Transformer. It's a mech piloted by someone in the lore. That's what I was seeing on TF Wiki, which I think is interesting. But yeah, other than that, uh, there's not much to talk about. So let's go ahead and get into that transformation. And here's Lift Ticket in all his mech slash robo glory. And again, it's one of those things where I get that they're going for G1 accuracy, but it's just such a dumpy design. I very much prefer the silhouette of the Thrilling 30 mold. 
Um, it's all the same articulation that we had previously on hoist. Um, nothing's really super new here. Um, the, the, the wing, whatever, I wish there was another joint in here so it could fold back and wouldn't get caught on as much stuff. I feel like the arms are oddly a little skinny for his robot paunch. Um, but other than that, I mean, he looks good. Again, more of the blue disappears. I, I appreciate the little bits we see here. Um, I know this is reflecting the Die Clone paint job, so we get a lot more gray, silver, yellow, and red here. Um, but I think I would have preferred maybe some blue accents somewhere or another. That head sculpt is just as nice as it was before. I really like what they do here with the black outline picking out the yellow visor. Um, yeah, I think he looks solid. And again, with Diaclone Buddies, you know, getting some more primary colors in here, uh, I think they look fantastic together. Um, it's cool that we got this little Autobot sub-team sub of Diaclone people. Um, I will say that maybe, like, hopefully some future ones, I don't know all the Diaclone repaints, but if there's, like, a green or orange one somewhere in here, um, that would be, that would be really neat. Um, but yeah, I think that, I don't think that I'd recommend Lift Ticket because the base mold just has too many problems for me. I forgot, like, I would transform this, right, and it's a fast forward because I've done this before, but I don't love this transformation. Getting the back piece pegged in at the right angle with the shoulders and everything else to create his robot chest is just a little fiddly. Um, the... Uh, the clearance on the hands, the fact that they can't fold away in vehicle mode is really, really annoying. Um, but uh, if you were wanting to pick up this mold and you weren't like a, a main G1 fan, this is the one I'd pick. I think it looks the best out of the three of them so far. Uh, so in that sense, you know, if you can find it on sale and you want a version of this mold, uh, lift tickets, the one you want to get. But, um... If you just want a lift ticket and you don't want to pay any money for it, uh, here's an opportunity. I, again, like, it looks good, but I think it's not quite good enough to go on my shelf. So, uh, I'm going to give this lift ticket away. And the question of the day is very simple. Uh, the question of the day is just which Diaclone repaint do you want to see most next? Um, so... To enter, all you have to do is down in the comments of the video before, below, just like all my other videos before, um, answer the question of the day. Say, I think that X Diaclone Repaint would be the next coolest one to see. Um, for me, I'm thinking of um, like maybe a Seeker Diaclone Repaint, but I don't know what the Seeker colors were. Um, so maybe that would be kind of neat. But yeah, so which Diaclone Repaint do you want to see next? Answer that question, say I would like to enter the giveaway, and one week from today, I will announce the winner of Lyft Ticket, and then you contact me, uh, and I ship him out to you. That's how it works. It's nice and simple. Uh, we'll give Lyft Ticket a good home, even if he's not going to stay with me forever. All right, uh, that's it for today's video. Nice and short. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye!